Welcome to the Gravity Sketch Automotive Interior Design Training Curriculum. In this conclusion of our tutorial series, I'll show you how to develop interior components like seats and steering wheels, create prefab objects for later use, add additional details, and refine your surfaces for a complete and finished look. Let's start with the seat. Seats and steering wheels are symmetrical objects living in an off-center position. Start by building them in the center line position with the mirror plane turned on. Once the surfaces are welded at the center line, the object can be moved to an off-center position where you can continue editing it as a symmetrical model. Start by building the basic shell of the seat using ribbon stroke, then extruding out to form the bolsters. Add additional points and edges to refine the shape of the seat along the mannequin profile. While in edit mode, you can use the Thicken and Offset tool to add material thickness to the surfaces. Adjust the thickness by pushing and pulling on the yellow arrows, then click Bake Thickened to convert the object to a double-sided, fully enclosed surface. Add additional points and edges to refine the sections of the edge. Use additional Sub-D surfaces or use the volume brush to quickly sketch in bolsters, padding, and other details. Once the seat is complete, select the entire model and go into edit mode. Click Bake Mirrored to disengage symmetry. Group the objects into a single model. Open your prefab import library, grab the object, and drag it into the preview window to make it part of your prefab library for later use on other projects. For steering wheels, sketch out the main section of the rim with a ribbon stroke. Then use the Thicken tool to establish the cross section of the rim. Use Sub-D surfaces, volumes, and other elements to add detail to your steering wheel. This can also be used as a prefab model for other interior projects. As a finishing touch, you can use the Stroke tool on a transparent layer to add stitching lines and other details. At this point, we have a very realistic model suitable for export for further development in Alias or Blender, milling or 3D printing, or photorealistic visualization in VRED or Unreal Engine. Be sure to watch our tutorials on the various ways to import and export Gravity Sketch models to other software in the design pipeline.